Darts Nuts and welcome to Darts Review Channel and as usual a special welcome for new visitors um, I hope you click the subscribe button and become a regular viewer and don't forget there's always an index in the description so you can move to any part of the video all you need to do is just click on the timestamp stamp and it should take you there but it may only work with desktops um, not sure whether it will work on mobiles for this review I'm reviewing the Unicorn Sigma Ultra Core Darts. Um, I've reviewed a few sets of Ultra Core now. Uh, this particular one is a little bit shorter, so you can only get three inserts in it. And these are a 95% tungsten barrel, and the inserts are 97% tungsten. And you can alter the weight from 16.5 to 24.5 grams. And they're also you can use them in steel or soft tip, so you, you just replace the uh, the nose cone. And they come with the icon case, and these retail for £64.95. So let's check them out. So let's have a look at the darts. They come in a slim cardboard box, and inside you've got a pull out cardboard tray with the icon case. Um, little bag here that's got the tungsten and polymer inserts and some soft tips and inside the case you've got some Sigma flights and obviously the darts which are fitted with um, the Sigma titanium nose cone and your little plastic point protector so that's the LP finish Sigma titanium nose cone. Nothing inside the barrels while they're in the pack. All the insets are there. And some Sigma zero degrees uh, stems. And the little leaflet explaining how to set up for all the different weight and balance combinations. And also on the leaflet it's got the serial number. 27418 which is also stamped on the barrel and um, that might be how many numbers they are 27,418 but I wouldn't uh, say that for sure but chances are that's what it is and obviously these are shorter than the ultra core 1 and the ultra core 2 so you can only fit three of the inserts inside and I'm going to use um, that setup there so I'm going to have two inserts at the front and one polymer on the rear. So that's how I'll be checking the darts from now on. So the nose cones are fitted with 28mm points and as you can see it's got the LP finish and you can get them in smooth and grooved and the nose cones fit a lot better than what the uh, previous ones which were on the Ultra Core 1. The Ultra Core 1 had a kind of a, a bump around near the joint but these a very nice transition from the cone to the barrel so almost seamless, re, re, seamless really it just looks as if it's a one piece barrel and it's a very nice uh, profile but um, I suspect it may suit middle and rear grippers the best but We'll see when I come to throw it. Uh, almost kind of a, a kind of a slightly ruby ball, ellipsoid type shape, and it's got these two sections of ring grip, which are fairly grippy. Uh, it's probably a high medium, and as you can see on the barrel, well, you may not be able to see it that way. It's got that number, 27418, which is the serial number of the dart, and your Sigma 0D degrees stems with the aluminium tops and your Sigma flights. So I'll just let you have a close look at the barrel.
So the dots are fitted with the 28mm point on the nose cone and on the front section it's about 9.4mm wide with the LP grip finish and I'm using the nose cone as the whole length here at the after the nose cone you've got a smooth section of 7.8 millimeters and then you've got the thin ring grip of 9.9 millimeters and then a smooth section in the middle of 5.3 millimeters then another section of ring grip for 9.9 millimeters and then a smooth section on the rear of 7.9 millimeters the total length is 50.25 millimeters and the width is 7.45 millimeters Alright, I'll just wear the barrels with nothing attached and nothing inside first. That's 16.2 grams. 16.13 grams. And 16.16. So I'll go with that a slightly heavier one. So with the nose cone. It's 17.95 grams and with the two inserts and the one polymer that I'm going to be throwing it with it's 22.5 grams and with the stems and flights it's 24.4 grams so with the setup I'm using the balance is just slightly behind centre and with these stems and flights it moves quite a little bit more to the rear and this is the balance with medium in between short extra short stems and standard flights balance just about right with the inserts with my front grip although oop, damn it the shape goes a little bit thin there and I think when it's too thin for me I don't have as much control over it um, I'm gonna try the middle section now and I'm kind of a little bit on the rings and a little bit on the smooth band in the middle but because of the, the nose cone I'd say overall I'm right in the middle spot there feels a little bit better grip wise Obviously you can alter the balance to suit your style of throw and everything, which is partly the idea behind the inserts. But I just try it from here, just like I normally do anyway. I have a feeling it's probably best for a middle gripper because of the shape and possibly for a rear gripper as well. So I'm going to try the rear now. That is actually very smooth through the air. So I suspect it's probably going to suit rear grippers quite well. Obviously it still depends how we set up the inserts. seems a lot smoother in the air, I just can't get in line.
So, there you go. That's the Unicorn Sigma Ultra Core. Uh, like I said before, it's quite an interesting idea, this business of putting inserts to change the weight and the balance. Um, but obviously, it's more useful for people that are trying to experiment with the, the weight and the balance. And obviously, people who play both soft and steel tip, they'll get uh, a lot more benefit out of it because they can alter the weight to suit but still have the same uh, barrel. Um, for me as a front gripper, um, I don't think it's quite right. Obviously I had the balance set up for me to suit and while I was throwing them with this setup, it's very nicely balanced of course, but I um, don't know, it just doesn't feel quite right where I'm gripping it there. Um, felt a little bit better around the middle and I actually think it feels more comfortable gripping it on the rear. Uh, it's a very nice shape to the barrel, so depending on how you set her up, rear grippers may get the best from it. But um, it is a very nice looking dart when it's all set up. And it's got a very nice profile. Um, one thing I do like is the fact that they've made the nose cones um, a better shape so they sit more flush with the barrel. But um, one thing I did notice is the stems on a couple of them that don't fully tighten and, and they're kind of hitting the top of the inset. So there's a, a kind of a very small, gla a very small gap just above the barrel, between the barrel and the stem. And I can't get it any tighter, it just won't go any tighter. Um, no, it definitely won't. And when you take the stem off, where the thread ends, there's like a little bit of a ledge. And I think it's probably to do with the way that they're manufactured. And I have noticed on quite a few different stems, some stems end exactly where the thread ends and some have a bit of a ledge on it, all from different brands. So the ones that have the ledges on, they don't go in the barrels with the inserts very well. So it's a little bit unfortunate that the ones that have come with it are like that. But anyway, that's just one thing I noticed. But apart from that, it looks great as it's set up. Um, certainly looks nice with the Sigma flights. But I'd say it's an interesting concept, but it may not appeal to everyone. And obviously, if you already know what weight you want, and you're already happy with the kind of shape, you would probably just buy a, a normal dart anyway. But certainly for people that are experimenting, and, and people that play both soft and steel tip, it's probably worth something to try. So that's the end of the review. Thanks for watching.